What's up, YouTube? This is Twitch from Old Recordings, and I'm here real briefly just to discuss uh, the Emu Command Station XL7. It's the orange colored one. Um, and I'm here to just show you briefly a basic song structure. There's a lot of people on the future producers that don't have an idea on even how to record. So this is just a basic, simple, um, recording tutorial type. Um, I'm just going to briefly explain some of the functions and basically teach you how to do grid recording. Someone sent me a, a private message on how to um, do grid recording. So it's really simple. So I'm just going to show you it. It's not very long. Um, it's not about the production skills of the, you know, when I create a pattern. It's just a simple tutorial so I'm pretty much going to use whatever you know that they have so I'm going to use the XL7 ROM uh, that comes with the command station I do have the MP7 I do have the composer ROM also um, but right now I'm just gonna stick with the XL7 so I'm gonna switch right in here to the XL7 ROM which I did then I'm gonna find a kick um, simple as that let me turn to an empty pattern uh, here we go I'll set the BPM you click the edit button sets the tempo you can do select between pattern bar beat and track um, but the tempo I'll keep that to 85 something simple and okay alright there it is first one um, you can click real time or grid but like I said I'm talking about grid so we'll just do the grid okay this is just gonna be a one bar um, one measure that's it looping over okay while you're still in grid um, you can have the grid mode play while you're still in record so you never leave up at the very top or you can choose edit again you can move over to the track you can select the tracks up and down from here or you can select the track channel plus and minus I'm moving to track 2 looking for a snare I can hit the preset still and look for my snares underneath the XL7 ROM and I'm just gonna find the snare there you go okay you can add it in wherever you want so you can still do the grid editing and samples you can, if you hit the play button you can still um, go through and sample different ones as you may see I don't know if you can see it's blinking and then you click back and it goes right back into recording again um, this comes really in really good it comes in um, very handy for the live recording um, instead of this that we're doing now just the grid recording so go to hi-hat let me find a hi-hat here okay find a hi-hat you know something different um, I can omit the three one I'm just trying to do something different you can add some more
so I don't like those hi hats. That's all right. So um, I go to track nine, which is the bass. I think in the manual it talks about this. Just uh, tracks nine through twelve is um, your percussion number two. Tracks one through four, or one through four, is your kick, snare, hi hat, and open hi hat. Number five through eight is your kick two, your overlays. And then 13 through 16 is your synth and whatnot. And that's pretty so, much about it. Basically, with grid recording, it's very simple. So, um, that's it.